Praise the Lord and God bless you. Welcome again to 10 Minute Midday Manor, 10 Minutes to Bless. Amen. Your day. Amen. As we look at Psalm 14, what the Bible says about a fool. Coming right up. Amen. We thank God for you being with us on today. We praise God for his blessings and all his acts of kindness. And we just come with you with a short 10 minutes in the word of God. We don't get super deep. We love to have you come with us at 420 South Pollard Street in Venton, Virginia, where we, amen, value the word of God, amen, over emotionalism, over big shows, smoke screens, and everything else that a lot of people throw at you, but we we want the manner. We want the word of God where we are. And today we're going to look at Psalm chapter 14, and we would love it if you would like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a greeting uh, in the comment section, just to interact with this video so somebody else. And what that does is it helps us to be uh, presented to more people. YouTube, Facebook, they use that as a, as a metric to be able to present this to people who may not normally see this. So if you care about spreading the word of God, if you care about the success of, success of ministry, you have it in your hand to bless by clicking the like button or sharing it to people uh, that you can so that uh, God's word can go out to more. And you don't know how much of a blessing it will be. Today, we're going to look at Psalm 14, the choir master of uh, of David, but he says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there is any who understand, who seek after God. <clears throat> they have all turned aside. Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Have they no knowledge? All the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord. They, there they are in great terror, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You would shame the plans of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel will come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice. Let Israel be glad. This psalm is 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 dealing with, um, you know, in a basic sense, the battle between good and evil. Uh, there is a group of people, and it seems to be more prominent nowadays than it has been in years past. Uh, people who boldly and proudly proclaim that they don't they don't believe in God. Um, and I find that a lot of people that claim to be atheists or, and uh, I can't, the word just slipped as soon as I tried to say, agnostic, excuse me. Atheists, agnostic, don't want to acknowledge that there is a God a lot of times, are not really for Satan. They just against their religious community as a whole. And in order to be rebellious or to uh, rage against that, they say there is no God, trying to get under the skin of those who say, there are, but the Bible already declares that it's nothing new. It's nothing new to have someone that says, I don't believe in God. All the way back to the time of David, people to say that there is no God. And there are these people who say that they don't believe in God or say that there is no God who commits deeds and atrocities um, uh, and, and, and just evil deeds against uh, mankind against the people of God, against things that are of respect, because already you're in a state of rebellion. Uh, the book of Romans, in the uh, early part, the first chapter, it talks about God can be seen by things, God can be known by things that are seen. I mean, the whole creation, the whole earth, the tree, stars, all of that testifies to a God. We can't create things. Name something we have created. I'm talking about something we've created out of nothing. We can clone, but can we create? We can we can uh, breed, but can we create? We can take two plants and make another plant, but can we create a plant? 
Uh, can you create soil? Can you create an atom? Uh, even uh, Isaac, Sir Isaac Newton, he says matter is neither created nor destroyed. Uh, to an extent, he's right. But when God said, let there be, matter was created because he is the source of creation. Uh, now I understand that water turns into steam, steam turns into vapor, vapor condenses. I understand that uh, one thing decays into something something else can use. Everybody's saying plant a tree uh, in death. And, and or they're talking about these death capsules so you could feed the tree in a tree. All of those things. We know that matters need to create and not destroy. But matter was created by God when he said, let there uh, be. Man doesn't have that power. Man doesn't have the power uh, to forgive sins. Man doesn't have the power to create. That's why you understand the theophany of God, the presence of God in the Old Testament, when he didn't declare what somebody else said, but uh, the angelic visits uh, declared, I will, or declared, this shall happen, uh, because there was authority of God uh, in a in a in an Old Testament visitation in whatever angelic form God used at the time. And so God looks at us in our foolishness to say that there is no God, and he sees that people just dull of understanding. And with that dull, dullness of understanding, they uh, uh, lose virtue. They lose honesty. Uh, when they become their own morality, they lose uh, the guiding lights, the principles of God. When God's wisdom is above, our wisdom. We have a, a generation now that has come, uh, as it says, become corrupt, doesn't do good, uh, doesn't seek the presence of God, doesn't seek the things of God. Uh, but those who are wise and those who are smart seeks the presence of God, honors his house, honors the church. Uh, anybody wise will know that anything genuine will produce a fake. We believe that Louis Vuitton, uh, and we believe there's a fake. We believe there are Air Force Ones, there are Jordans, there are Jays, or whatever you want to call it. But we know there's a fake. Why don't you think that something as pure and holy and righteous as the church, that a lot of fakes wouldn't come up? People have gone corrupt, and they've taken church to make it more of entertainment than more salvation. They, people that uh, people lead in churches that you don't respect, they're just as corrupt as you are. We are. <laughs> Uh, and, 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 and they do things. They're underhanded. They're crooked. They're money hungry. They're sex hungry. They're uh, power hungry. They rob from the poor to feed themselves, to make themselves rich. We know that. But don't you think Louis has knockoffs? Don't you think Nike and Eric Jordans have knockoffs? Don't you think there's such thing as fake gold and fake diamonds? The same game with the church. Because anything good is worth duplicating to save and to deceive someone else. And so while people proclaim to be wise and have knowledge and know about life and the universe, um, whatever, um, the creation, the universe is created by God, but they have no knowledge. And so they rail against the people of God. The Bible says they eat them like bread. They disrupt the plans of the people of God. Uh, spend more time to be anti the people of God than they do for whatever they believe. Um, but God will reward and then salvation will come for the people of God. Just as Noah was, he was preaching, teaching, telling people about the rains that will come. The people railed against him. The people criticized him, made fun of him. But yet, even up to the day that he entered the ark, the people would not believe him. But then when the rains came, you can imagine never seeing rain before, water flowing from above, never seeing rain before, but all of a sudden the rains came. And oh, how wise was Noah then. And God had shut up the ark. Time was over. Time was done. And so while you have the time today, while you have the time this week, come down to Triumph for the Cross Church. Amen. We'll... It's a Bible-believing, good old simple church and not a smoking universe. We believe in praise and worship and singing and music and instruments. And, but we believe in salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. 
We believe in baptism in Jesus' name. You can have a good music program, but you got to have the word. You can have a good singing program, but you got to have the word. You can have a good child care, day care, bookstore, coffee shop in your church, but you got to make sure that people know the word. And the word is not just uh, feel-good stories to make you handle your week, but it's salvation for your soul. It's salvation. It helps you to be born of the water and of the spirit. Helps, helps uh, and saves you and seals you for the day of redemption. Amen. And we believe Triumph Church. We believe we have the word that can get you to heaven. And we just know that the doors are open for you to come and be a part and join the community. So that not only you can be saved, then we can save and help somebody else. Amen. God bless you. Let's not be a fool. Let's believe in God. Let's follow God. Let's not uh, disrespect his church, uh, but join his church. Be a part of his church. Serve the church and let the church serve you. Amen. Be blessed and nobody else tell you today they love you. You already know God loves you and so do I. God bless you in Jesus' name.